Well, congratulations, Gary. Uh, fantastic win and really a very special goal from Jez Sol tonight. Yes, uh, big derby game, which they all are, as we know, and uh, us coming to the match tonight, firing an order shot in the league, unbeaten. Added a little bit more spice, probably, because they wanted to probably be the first team to beat us this season. We were determined not to let that happen down here tonight, of course, and uh, it was a strange game, really, John, for a derby. You know, when you're thinking the first 20 minutes of the match that you've lost your skipper after five minutes, and he's a big, he is a big leader, uh, Mark Ricketts, and then uh, you lose your goalkeeper who gets injured after 25 minutes. Even though it's nil-nil at the time, there weren't much going on, but to have to make two substitutions in the first 25 minutes of the game, there was going to be some big tests and there was going to have to be some uh, answered answered in respect of players, what we felt they had in them, what they show they can give us in every way of form. And, you know, we got to half-time and rightly so, we hit the post in the first half and um, there wasn't much in it, it was just a case of uh, stop starts and, uh, you know, we you know, said at half-time that if you've got, you know, aspirations of pushing on and doing very well, but sometimes you have to dig deep, this is what you show you're made of and you don't want to lose your unbeaten record and sometimes it's about teams who want it, you know, that little bit more in respect of one, whether you're attacking two out of defend and it's a wonderful goal, uh, tremendous goal from Jess Sowell, I must be honest, he did it 30 odd yards out and me and Tomo said, is he having a laugh or what? You know, we couldn't believe it, I must be honest, but uh, great strike, um, all credit to all the shot they've had a go the last 15 minutes, uh, but over the 90 minutes, I don't think they could have no complaints tonight. And as I say, we've had to change the team round twice in the first 20 odd minutes. We've come away from home, kept a clean sheet, uh, and we've extended our unbeaten record very pleased. And although Jez will rightly get the plaudits for his goal, Gary, I think a special mention really for the defence tonight, who were fantastic, weren't they? <laughs> Getting that. blocks, headers in the way, looking like they didn't want to concede all night. Well, that's, that's, that's the difference, John. That's the difference if you want to go places or you have aims and uh, you want to try and take an eye as a manager and two as a player and, you know, you've got, you've got to dig deep. And there was some great last ditch, you know, defending and even Andy Little, as old as he is, coming there, cool customer, very experienced to have him in uh, as a goalkeeping sub to come on and do that. But I thought, as you say, the back four there, uh, last 20 odd minutes were immense. You know, when you looked across the four there, they were big and strong. And you know, Brett Williams has done very well since he's come at all the shot, but I'll be honestly turn around and be saying tonight that if he had any honesty about him, he would turn around and say it's a quiet steel night that he's had in respect of chances, in respect of the defence had him in their pocket. And a great night too, Gary, for Woking fans. I think there were nearly 700 tonight and they really got behind the side, didn't they? Yeah, well, hey, they've been different class, I always say it. And there's a togetherness in a big way of form, I said, with me and Tomo in the playing squad with the supporters like you know we're we're all pushing together you know we're all pushing and all credit to the chairman directors uh, everyone who you know whatever they do at the football club whether it's voluntary or people sponsor the club you know the club's on the up there's no doubt about that you know we can't turn around and say that you know we do this or we do that but we're going in the right direction and it has to continue and Gary obviously last time when we spoke here Woking were very very poor and I know you were bitterly disappointed that day when they lost on bank holiday Monday last season how much does tonight make up for that well I think it's, it's more about questions being answered tonight in respect of we've shown a lot of people here tonight three and a half thousand fans that this ain't the Woken who roll over when they're under pressure this is not the Woken who will concede when you lose a goalkeeper and you lose your skip in the first 20 odd minutes there's a lot of teams who would have turned around and felt sorry for themselves you've mentioned it earlier how strong and everybody's putting a shift in together and we've got boys at the moment who are sitting on the bench We've got players like Kevin Betsy to come back into contention and Adam Newton and John Nutter, you know, and you see the bench there. Right? There's a very useful squad here at Woking at the moment, but, you know, we've got to keep going. Yeah, and as you say, the unbeaten run keeps going. Next up are Chester, who've had a reprieve, and uh, they've had a bit of an up and down start. Be tough, be tough, we know that, and I think we all know that after a big games on a Tuesday night, you know, in local derbies, so you've got to make sure that uh, the excitement and everything don't take over. You keep thinking about it three or four days and get a rude awakening on Saturday. It'll be a tough game. Steve Burr's always done very well. It'll be an hard game, but I'm asking, I'm pleading, I'm saying that the Woking faithful, which have been different class, just under 2,200 last Saturday, turn out in numbers. You've got 18 points out of 24. You're playing your part. We're a team in this league this year, which is going to be well respected. Lovely. Thank you very much, Gary. Enjoy your evening. Cheers.